Hey y'all, Serena here from Make Plant Create. In phase one of the camper conversion, we address the framework, mostly exterior stuff, cleaning up the windows, recalking, installing the AC unit and everything like that. And in this video, which I am dubbing as phase two, we will turn our focus to the interior projects that we did to take the camper from its former 1977's glory to at least camping ready for us, even though it wasn't quite finished. At the same time as we were working on the exterior, Olive and I were putting layers and layers of Kills Primer on the interior to cover up all this brown and give it a cleaner, more updated look. Now I have to admit that my Pinterest board for this camper is covered in images like this and this. And they just go on and on with these beautiful, cute, tiny little campers that are set up for living and camping in. But as I mentioned in the previous video, we are going to use this camper as a pop-up plant shop. So I have another Pinterest board that is covered with images like these. Getting the camper finished and functioning as a plant shop is going to take place in the next coming months, which will be what I will be calling phase three. Just five short days before our camping trip, we finally got to wash this thing. It is really getting down to the wire for us to get this thing ready to go camping. And actually, by this point, we didn't even know if this thing was going to be able to pass inspection and we were if we were even going to be able to get it plated and able to take camping. <laughs> we had to jump through some hoops getting the wiring done. Billy basically had to rewire the entire exterior lighting system to get the brake lights and turn signals and everything working but anyways we pushed through and by this point we still hadn't even installed the bed but we continued to work on it even though we weren't even certain we would be able to take it camping <laughs> So before we could install any walls or the ceiling, we put in some insulation, which was just packaging foam. By this point, it is still three short days before we're supposed to take this thing camping. But we got the bed done. We reused some of the original cabinetry to use as a support for the front right there. I didn't get it painted like I wanted to, but at this point, paint was not a priority. <laughs> Once the bed frame was completed, we were able to install some of the walls. 
but the boards that we bought to put on the walls and ceiling were a little more stiff than we had anticipated. That's why we were only able to cover the walls up to a certain point since they didn't follow the curvature of the ceiling. And we were also at this point preparing for our nine day camping trip. So we just did not have the time, the energy to get this ceiling and everything covered up. Power. One of the most exciting steps in getting this thing ready was getting electricity. That was so exciting. Just gave us that sense of accomplishment. Like, okay, we are finally getting somewhere with this thing. And in the very end, we got it done. We made it to our camping trip with our camper. So that was exciting for us to take it on its maiden voyage and use it for camping one time before we convert it. At which point we'll be using it mostly for work, but it still has the bed in there. And I did make a little bunk for Eli and there should be room for all of us to be able to sleep in it. If we happen to travel with it or go someplace where it would be beneficial for us to have a place to sleep like a fair or something like that and speaking of the bunk i think this thing is so cool um i didn't take any video of me making it i think i made this one or two days before we actually went camping so you know i was not in recording what i was doing mode at that point So here's what the camper is looking like as of today. It is August 2019. Uh, we are just about to embark on getting this thing finished up and converted into a pop-up plant shop. <laughs> These makeshift curtains just got nailed in um, because we were in such a hurry to get out of there with this camper. Um, we didn't really have time to do a proper curtain job, but that will be happening in phase three. Yay! 